Lenin, the Soviet guy, not the Beatles guy, once said that there are decades when nothing happens, and there are weeks when decades happen. Right now, we are living in a time when it feels like decades are compressed into weeks. The world is changing so very fast, and a lot of what's happening is disturbing. Whatever you're feeling right now, I want you to know two things. First of all, you are not alone. In fact, this pandemic and all the chaos that surrounds it is one thing that we're all facing together. And our team at Food Revolution Network is here with you every step of the way to provide whatever support we can. And secondly, in every crisis, in every tragedy, in every breakdown, there are usually some good things that can eventually emerge. Sometimes they're hard to find. Personally, sometimes I don't even want to look for them. But my experience is that the hardest things I've ever gone through in my life have been eventually some of my greatest teachers. We know that gratitude is good for us. Studies show us that when you write down things that you're grateful for or express appreciation, it doesn't just make things feel better, it actually makes them get better. It doesn't just make you more aware of the half full side of the glass, it actually makes the glass fuller. See, it turns out that gratitude is good for your hormonal balance, for your digestion, even for your life expectancy. Now, you might be saying, Ocean, get over it. This is not a time for gratitude. Do you realize how bad things are in the world right now? To which I would say this. Right now, the media is saturated with bad news. We are hearing about death counts and illness and financial stress. We're hearing about so many scary and painful things. And all of that is real. It's important. It deserves our attention. At the same time, what I want to ask you is, might there be any silver linings to these clouds? Might there be any opportunities that are present in the midst of this pandemic, either for you personally or for all of us collectively? Is there anything that you hope humanity could learn from this? For example, I know that our family has been spending more time gardening, more time cooking together, more time sitting down for shared meals together. To be totally honest with you, since the COVID-19 pandemic hit, I think I've been a better dad. And something about an awareness of my own mortality has, has me talking to my loved ones in a new way and taking them less for granted. I'm telling people that I love them more often. I think there is something about the vulnerability that we all share and the awareness of it that in some odd way, in the midst of all the social distancing, is helping us feel more connected. At least for me, that's the case. Now, I don't know if you can relate to any of that or if you have a totally different experience, but I want to invite you in the comments below to share what you think. I want to invite you to complete this sentence. If there are lessons that humanity might learn from this pandemic, I hope they are. Again, that's if there are lessons that humanity might learn from this pandemic, I hope they are. I can't wait to see what you write.